doing? Hope you're all cool and the gang. Well, I'm going to show you today the correct way to make 3D text in Motion 5. Um, so I've just opened Motion. I'm going to select Motion Project. Um, and I'm going to select my frame rate to be 30 frames per second and leave my duration on 300 frames. That means 30 frames per second, 300 frames, about 9 seconds of footage. Click Open. And as I said, my timeline at the bottom, about 9 9.29 um, frames, um, um, seconds of footage. Right, the first thing I do in Motion 5 is I go up to my 100% here, and um, I just click Fit, right? So it just drags the window smaller, so it actually fits into the window, okay? Um, now, the reason I'm doing this is because I've watched quite a few tutorials on how to do it, and no one actually explains what the tools do. If you understand what the tools do, then you're going to be able to improve on your already um, already awesome skills, aren't you? So yeah, let's um, let's go ahead and do that, right? So it's quite simple. I select the text toolbar or the, the the text tool here, and I highlight an area for my text. I then simply type in my text that I am wishing to make 3D, and I'm just going to resize that text. And the way I do that um, is by having my text highlighted here. Go to in my layers um, tab. Go to my, in my layers pane, go to my inspector tab, and then just drag the size here and drag it up. Obviously, as you can see just above, you can change the font there if you want to. Just click it and um, all your fonts pop up. I'm happy with this font, so I'm just going to leave it as is. Right, now I'm going to um, just move this text so it's in the center of the screen. And that's the center of the screen. And I'm, um, I'm happy with that. Yeah, so I'm happy with that, right? So that's my text size. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, add a replicator to it. And the way we do that is by our timeline, just above our timeline, on the camera sort of tabs at the very end, you've got replicator, and I'm going to select it. Right, don't worry too much that it does makes a mess of the screen because we're going to sort that out now. Remember, we're not editing our text. So make sure you've got replicator highlighted because that's what we're going to edit, um, the copies of our text. So we'll go over here to our inspector tab again, and we um, in the replicator, and we select this 3D checkbox. So just tick this 3D checkbox at the bottom, and then we're going to go right to the top, and we're going to change our shape from a rectangle to a box. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come down the um, down the sliders, and the first one we're going to do is come to our columns and make it one. Come to our rows and make it one. And all that's done is changed our um, copies of the text into one column and one row. Okay, so we've just got one um, one copy of the text behind each other, right? Um, and to explain that and to, to demonstrate that, I'm going to add a camera. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we go to our timeline again, and just above our timeline, click Create a Camera. You get the option to switch to 3D. Yes, we want to switch to 3D. Now, with these um, little navigation tools at the top of the screen. This one's sort of pan camera look. Um, this one's orbit the camera, so rotate the camera. And this one is zoom in or out. Okay. But we want to um, just orbit the camera and just be over the top of the camera and just look at this view here. You don't have to be in this view, but I'm going to look at this view. Now, remember I mentioned we edit our replicator. So I'm going to highlight our replicator again. I'm going to explain to you what these ranks and this size actually does. The ranks is just the amount of times it's copied the text. And as you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five. And that is um, shown here in this five here, right? The size is just the size of them apart, okay? So the size of them apart. So what we want to do with the size is sort of drag it down to around 20, between 10 and 30, roughly, depending on the size of your text. Um, so it's sort of nearly all in one. Now your size and your ranks work in conjunction with each other. Um, so if we um, just orbit that now and go above, you'll still see that we've got the five parts. They're just closer together. That's all it is. Now to make them get um, to sort of seem as though they're joined, we're just going to make more of them. Um, so we go to our ranks, highlight our ranks, and I'm just going to make that... Um, 105, just a random number, 105. So now it's sort of one complete um, one complete text, or it seems that way anyway, okay? So let me just orbit back around or, or move back around this um, camera and look at this view here, and that looks all right. Um, the way to improve on this 3D text is to, to add an outline or add some color into it. So we're going to 
highlight our text, right, the bottom here. I'm going to come across to the Inspector tab, and I'm going to go to Style. In the Style, I'm going to um, click the Outline, select the Outline. So that gives it an outline. It looks a lot better already. Um, show you something else you could do. You could drop this color down and change it to a gradient. Um, let's have a darkish gradient. Let's have a film noir. That's like a darkish gradient. Um, because it goes from sort of dark to light, we're going to, I'm going to want a dark color on the front face of my text. So yeah, let's have a dark color on the face, face of my text there. So yeah, now there you see it. We've got um, sort of 3D text as true as true really as you want it in um, in Motion 5. I will expand on this. I'll show you how to make um, intros with it and watermarks. I might put a video at the end just showing you a watermark with this text that I've got there. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments box below. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any issues, give me a shout. Catch you all soon. Bye.